NCD Central Assistant Commissioner Anthony Wagambi Jr. said the eviction awareness was done by the landlord a month ago before the eviction exercise was conducted this morning. The eviction exercise has left 5,000 settlers of the Garden Hill settlement homeless. After resistance by settlers to move out, police moved in with a bulldozer to demolish properties and their power supply cut off. The police told the settlers they were only following the orders of the court. Many of the settlers who expressed grief after the eviction say Garden Hill Settlement has been their home for generations. A primary school teacher and longtime resident, Stanley Tony, appealed to the government to bail them out of the crisis, saying they need a temporary place to stay for the meantime. And this particular activity that is done in front of our eyes, I'm very sad. It's very disgusting to see that there is no activity taking place. I don't know where will they sleep tonight. All beginning in a man, a maria, their safety is important. They need to sleep in a house. Where are they now? How do you expect this people to sleep? While the settlement is synonymous with petty crimes, some of the residents are employed citizens renting at the settlement. The lack of affordable housing and land coupled with low-income earning packages has left many of the employed citizens no choice but to rent in settlements in the city. Concerned citizen Stephen Kilage has also called on NCD Governor Poes Pakop to address the situation. And find a proper area for them to resettle. Put them all over, uh, you know, Rita Flino, put them all over somewhere. You can't just chuck them on the street. Now look, all finding bus number and stuff. Governor Pakop is yet to respond to the eviction exercise. Jumaima Sukbat, TV1 News.